There are literally so many kinds of tarantula burrows. Let me show you a few. One of the most common ones will be like this. Here's to create its gigas over here, which, yeah, I mean, not here. You can't really see her. I mean, you can't see her at all, but her burrow basically goes down here. Oh, actually, you can see her. That's awesome. There we go. So her burrow is like in there. And yep, that is the entrance to her burrow. It's just like a little concave to go in and it leads out all the way over here, which is pretty cool. Now, the second kind of burrow is right beside her. So this here is Malarognathus gyanisposa toy. And this one, basically, you can see her as well down there. This Asian species, usually their burrows in the wild as well are something like this. They'll find like a little wood, like two wood, or even like without a wood, but this one's like in between two woods. And well, it's actually one wood. Yeah, it's connected. But yeah, they would make a small little burrow with webbings on the like the entrance. So if there's anything that walks past there, it'll trigger the response and they'll come out and grab their food. Now we'll go through most of the tarantula burrows that I have, but my favorite one will be at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Uh, the next burrow that we're going to talk about is basically just a cave so you're probably gonna get usually when you when you see like tarantula care videos they're gonna put a height and a tarantula is pretty much my formictopus species green they're gonna make a little burrow down the cave you provide them some tarantulas you provide them a cave and they will not even use it so if your tarantula uses it next up is also right beside and this is also a similar one I gave her a little wood over there and she dug straight down over there. So that is another kind of burrow, which is, I mean, this one, I dug it out for her. This one, I did not really dig it. She dug it herself. Here's another kind of burrow. This is my Serato Jar Darlingi. Well, basically, I just put a little driftwood in here and she made her burrow like like over here. You see, like, like this thing over here, the background is something like this. So below... There's like a little groove where the tarantula can go under. And that is what exactly what she did. You can see her legs down there. Yeah. So basically, she made her little burrow over there, which is under this thing that is coming out. My maculata, on the other hand, is in a turtle shell. Yes, it's not very obvious it's a turtle shell, but it's a red-eared slider shell. And it made a burrow in the shell, which is, yeah, I mean, which is over here. But she is right over there. You can't really see her because my phone doesn't focus in holes. If you get something like a Samopoyas Polker, the Panama Blonde, they'll probably build a, a not, I wouldn't say this is a burrow, but it's more like, yeah, a tube tunnel, I like to call it. Uh, yeah, you could say burrow because tarantulas, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, they will build it around the top over here, similar to Avix, and look at that. She has trip wire over here, trip wire, which is basically just web. And if anything walks here, she will detect it and she will run out and grab the food. So yeah, this is the web of the, or I could say like burrow of the Samopoyas Polka, the Panama Blonde. Miss Thailand Black, on the other hand, is in like, I don't know, a lot of people say that I should put a lot of substrate for Miss Thailand Black, but I did that before and she never burrowed. But when I did it like this, because you see this one, the substrate is about, I would say five inches, four inches, and she goes into the height over here. Not sure if you can see her, but I'll try my best to, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see her. Her burrow is not really down, it's more in, so yeah. And some tarantulas will have this kind of burrow, which is basically I put like a, a leaning kind of arboreal kind of thingy, like a wood, and they make a tunnel where it's like they, they, they take all the substrate from the back and from the inside of the burrow and they pile it to the side. So this is the entrance. Look at that. It's like a, it kind of follows the incline, which is it looks pretty nice. And my aircon just turned off. But that's not going to stop us from making this video now, is it? Okay, so for this tarantula, the burrow is basically, well, she just pretty much webbed up this whole corner and she is in over there, up there. You know, usually burrows, they go down. This one, she goes up. So I think that looks really, really nice. Some tarantulas, like my Lassidora Parahibana over here, which just recently molted. Just look at her, fresh out of her new clothes. And yeah, I mean, fresh out of her old clothes. Yeah, but and this girl, her burrow is like, oh man, it's like super deep down there. Look at that. It's like she dug out, it, it, it was flat, you guys. This whole enclosure, the, the, how can, uh, how, what? 
the, the, the floor, the terrain, I, I don't know, it was flat, like the same level as this. And she just pretty much dug out everything at the back. Look at that, it's like so deep down there. And yep, that's her burrow pretty much. Massive burrow for a massive girl. I like that. This is my curly hair. And this one's burrow is, yep, yeah, she just makes like, she just digs all the way to the back and just hides there. <laughs> this right here, is my avicularia species ecuador and that is pretty much her kind of burrow tube I, I don't know what you call that it's like a volcano but yeah she pretty much whipped up this whole place and her only entrance and exit is at the back there so she's in here looks pretty cool some tarantulas are just just plain lazy they won't make a burrow they'll just use anything you give them and just don't dig anywhere like this wood over here on my Gramostola rosea. So now let's move on to my all-time favorite kind of burrow. And that would be my skeleton tarantula. Oh, wait, wait, the one on top first, the one on top. This is my blue fang tarantula. And this, look at this. The Oh my gosh, this is like a little volcano. She is in there. You can see her legs. Look at that. But yeah, this is another kind of burrow. She digs down and she piles everything up and make it like... A little tube, like an entrance thing at night, you'll be able to see her with her legs out here. Really, really nice. Okay, now we can move on to my favorite kind of burrow, which is down here and over here. Well, that one's more prominent. So yeah, I'll show you this one first. So this is my, you can see it down there. And just recently, before this, it wasn't like this, but recently she piled out everything over here and made it like a kind of like a hill to go into burrow which is cool and very similar to that is my skeleton tarantula which i will be needing this because you'll see so yeah this is my skeleton tarantula's enclosure don't know where she is she's usually here but no she's she's probably at the back there nope she's not but yeah i really love this kind of burrow it comes up and it webs over here and pretty much she'll be here. It's like a little tunnel, like a tube. If I put my phone like horizontal to the substrate, you can see that it comes up. And yep, skeleton tarantulas are very, very fond of this. I really, really like it. There's one reason why I love, absolutely love the Aphobopus marinas because, oh my gosh, look at the burrow. It's like so awesomely constructed and it never ever collapses which is so freaking awesome and the reason i need this is because yeah she she gathers substrate from all around just to pile this up which is so cool and i really like how the back terrain looks as well really really nice it goes all the way back and it comes out over here and over there which is so cool and yeah let's let, let's start this thing <laughs> so the reason i've got some substrate over here which i'm probably gonna spill a lot on the floor is because i want to like fill this part up because you see it's like a little concave over here it's like a like a little ditch over here yeah i want to fill it up to level it somewhere around here so it'll look a little bit more complete which is exactly what i've done over here just packing it down a little bit make it look yeah, it looks really, really nice like this. I really like it. And yep, that'll be it for this video. The main reason I wanted to do this video was to just show you guys that I'm going to be filling this part up with substrate. But that would be too short of a video. So since this one is about a burrow, why not do a video on all of the different kinds of burrows tarantulas do? And that right there is my favorite. Oh yeah, another one over here, which is my... Ephonopelma simani. This one just dug a hole in the substrate and it's just living like way in there, which I can't even put my phone down there. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you, I don't know, comment down below what other kinds of burrow tarantulas do. And yeah, leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. And I'll see you in the next video. Kind of out of breath now. <laughs> Speaking too fast. So yeah, peace.